Today's finally the day I'm going to be buying a stump grinder and adding it to my business. Um, if you guys follow me, you know I have a mini skid already and a stump grinder would, uh, will be a great addition for grinding stumps because that machine is very good at cleaning up. I've been getting um, customers asking if I do it and it's hard to do them unless they have a lot of them because it's so expensive to rent the machine. But like this... If I finance it on the business, I'll just be able to basically pay it off and I can start taking on small jobs that you can't do unless you own a machine, basically. So I'm going to go down to my uh, local dealer and uh, I'll take you guys with me and I'll show you guys what the machine is and why I chose it. But yeah, stay tuned if you're interested. For those wondering, this is my local dealer right here. I buy my equipment from Harco. Um... I let Liam uh, do all my paperwork, he's a great guy, um, honest, so I highly recommend him if you're in Wyand or Georgia or anywhere around here and you're looking for Wacker Newsome equipment or, they got a bunch of other brands too, but they're mostly a Wacker dealer, too bad Wacker doesn't make stump grinders, but yeah, that's a trencher right there, the stump grinder is going to look something similar. That's a mini skid right there. That's the SM60. I have the SM100, but yeah. Give him a call. Winder Harco. His name's Liam. That's the man right there. Hit him up for all your equipment. All right, guys, the machine's loaded up. Give you guys a closer look at it right now. So it's the Beretta 30SG. It's a compact machine just like my mini skid. 35.5 inches wide so it can go through a 36 inch gate. Excited to put this thing to work today. It's got just under one hour on it. Nice warranty. Three years on the engine, one year on everything. So hopefully it ends up treating me well. Alright guys, so I'm back at the house. I'm gonna show you guys the stumps I'm gonna be grinding. Got like 40 stumps I need to grind. It's a pretty nice size. I think this is about like 20 something inches. I can measure it to be exact. And this is a bigger one right here. Small machine, but it can do them all. I rented one of these before and it was not as good as this round. This has fresh teeth. Man, it is ripping. You gotta be careful, you see? That's a rock right there. I don't want to hit that and break my teeth. But don't forget to wear glasses, guys. You definitely need some because chips are going everywhere. Also, ear protection is very important because the machine is loud, idled up. I'm going to use my steel helmet. Make sure you wear earplugs if you're not using a helmet that has one. This thing is an absolute beast. Shredded this stump in no time. Gotta be careful though. I, I looked for rocks, but there's still some underground. You know, I started chipping this one, so I stopped right away because I don't want to break the teeth. But this stump is well below grade. As you can see, like this is already like, I don't know, six inches down into the dirt. So I'm just gonna spread this on top of it and it's gonna be gone. Yeah, I love this machine. It's really nice. It's little, but it's got some power to it. On to the next one, I measured it, it was 32 inches. So, it's pretty big, we'll see how long it takes me. I'm about five minutes into the next stump and it's absolutely shredding it. Yeah, this is not hardwood, this is sweet gum, so it is softer wood, but it's still pretty tough. So a lot of you are probably gonna be wondering why I'm cutting out so many trees. Well, a lot of my trees were dying this one, I didn't know it was dying, but as you can see, the stump is hollow. But basically, a lot of my trees were dying from when I bought the property. It was neglected. So I'm just cutting them down and getting rid of them before they go down on their own. You don't want to wait till the last site because it's going to cost you way more. But yeah, machine's doing great. I'll keep going at it. All right, guys, the stump is all gone. I went really deep because I have a hill over here and I want to grade it out a little better 
So this one had to go really deep. But man, it has a lot of wood chips. I had to bring out the mini skid to push them around because that rake takes a while, honestly. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the machine. This one took about 45 minutes, maybe 35, 40, because I had to take a phone call. But you can probably do this in about yeah, 35, 45 minutes. I had to be careful though. I did start messing up my teeth because I hit this rock. It was way underground. You couldn't see it until I hit it. They're still in really good condition. Not all of them are hurt, but some of them are. Like this right here. You can start to see it wearing out, unfortunately. But part of it. I'm gonna grade all this out with the mini skin, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, I got everything spread out. Man, this kid's tear is no joke. Got this done in like one minute compared to grinding for like two hours right now. But, yeah, it's all spread out. Looks way better than stumps. It's not a final grade. I'm gonna figure out exactly what I wanna do with the land later on and then I'll fix it up. But this is, I just kinda spread it out, filled in the holes. But yeah, this is a great purchase right here. If you guys want to see more videos about it just let me know or if you guys want a review on it I can do that for you guys